Okay, guys, welcome to another video. Today, our topic is simplifying algebraic expressions. All right, so we'll get straight into it. If I can work this, oh, here we go. Oh, yay. So, um, for starters, what are like terms? We need to know these. We'll take these six uh, terms, if you like, um, as an example. So we have 2x, we have 5y, we have 7, 3x, 9, and 2xy. So just to recap, this means 2 times x, this is 5 times y, this is 7 alone, 3x, 9, 2 times x times y. Now, like terms, obviously I kind of pressed the button at the wrong time. But anyway, that is okay. So we can have a look here. We have the 2x and the 3x over here. We compare what our variables are. So we compare the letters. As long as they are the same, we consider them like terms. As written down here, like terms are two or more terms that have exactly the same variables. And we know that the variables is what we also call letters. The coefficients, which is the big numbers at the front, do not have to be the same value, just the variable or the letters. Okay, so example here, 2x and 3x is like terms out of the six that we show here. Okay, oh, that's a bit funny. Lucky I have my awesome umbrella. So I'm just going to, I know my face is not all that important right now, but anyhow. So moving on, can you find any others out of these? Besides the two X's, what else are like terms? Anyone have a guess? The like terms is the seven and the nine. Reason is they are just numbers. They have no variables. And in a case where it's just numbers, we call them constants. So seven and nine are like terms because they are both constants, as I've said before. And that is my little definition there. Now, moving on to the next part. So we're gonna actually get into the nitty gritty of this now. So we're gonna simplify nine X plus three Y plus four Y plus, sorry, let's do that again. 9x plus 3y plus 4x plus 2y. So, help us with this because not everyone's good at this. And it's, I know. So, we can start by finding out that's an x, and that's an x, that's a y, and that's a y. And as we've done here, it has been highlighted and color coded because we're Australian, you know, yellow, and green, or golden, green, Australian. We could highlight, I don't know why I like X to be yellow. So we could yellow the 9X, we yellow the positive or plus 4X. Okay, and then with the green or any other color as you wish, but green. The positive 3Y or plus 3Y and our plus. 2y is green. So, as we say here, we highlight the like terms just to make it easier. If you don't have a highlighter, we can always get a pen and circle them or box them. If you only unfortunately have one color or unfortunately. Okay, so then we rewrite them side by side. I like to write them next to each other. So, x's with x's and y's with y's. So, we've got 9x plus 4x plus 3y plus 2y, and obviously our 9x plus 4x gives us 13x, and our 3y plus 2y gives us 5y. And if we don't exactly understand why that comes about, our x's stay the same, and a 9 plus 4 gives us a 13. Similarly, our y and y here stay the same, it's just our 3 and our 2 we add, which gives you 5. Or another way we can think about it is, if I had two apples, and I had another three apples, 
we give with five apples. Cool. So instead of using the word apple, we use X, Y, Z, or any other letter that may suit. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's still funny. Anyway. So, and then we combine the like terms as we have done. So we evaluate, we add or subtract whatever the sign is or whatever the operation is to give us our final answer at the bottom or down below. I like to write them in alphabetical order if possible, just a little bit OCD like that. But if you write 5y plus 13x, you are still as equally correct. Okay, our next one, a little bit harder where we have takeaways. So we are to simplify 4r minus 5s plus 2rs minus 8s there, minus 3r. So our r here, and we've got an r there, I'm gonna give it green and green. Make sure that you highlight also the sign in front of that term because it belongs together. Don't leave it out, it's very lonely. And then we get a yellow. We have a five, a negative five S here. Oopsies. And then we have a negative eight S here. So we're gonna give it a yellow, a yellow here, as you can see there. Next, we're gonna rewrite them together. So four R, take away three R, as you can see here. And then minus five S, minus eight S, as you can see here, and this, plus two RS, we'll just leave it behind there. We don't worry about that too much. And then after this stage, once we've done that, we are going to evaluate. So four R take away three R. Well, R stays there and four take away three gives us one R. And then our minus five, minus eight. We're going backwards here. So if we're on the number line at minus five and we dump back eight spaces, we get minus 13s okay and then of course our plus 2rs we're not adding or subtracting anything from that we'll just leave it there so in total because there's already a 1r we don't have to write the one in front we can just write r to represent the one letter r there okay so in total we our answer is r take away 13s plus 2rs and that is this expression simplified. Okay. Now moving on to something a little bit harder, the distributive law. The distributive, there, yeah, excuse me. The distributive law in mathematics, the law relating to operation of multiplication and addition is stated as, oh, that doesn't look good too good, but anyway, if we have A and bracket B plus C inside the brackets, we simply just multiply A times B, which is AB there, and A times C, which is AC there. And our plus stays in the middle. So let's put that into practice, shall we? So we have two, all bracket, X plus four, plus three, all bracket, X minus five, minus two, Y. So we'll start by doing bits at a start time. So the first thing, and then the second bit. So we get two times X, which gives us two X, and then two times four, which gives us positive eight, positive because of this plus here. And then we move on to the next bracket, which is three times X, which gives us three X, and then three times negative five, which gives us negative 15. We always put that middle sign back down right below always work in a systematic order where we are working down the page instead of across. It's just a lot easier and more systematic. And then our negative two Y would just leave it down there next to it. Now we have our two X and our three X. I'll write it together there. And then our minus two Y, there's no other Y's there. So we'll just leave it there. And then eight and our minus 15. Again, we like to reorder in alphabetical and then numerical. Obviously our positive eight is bigger than our negative 15. So we put it in that order. Now two X plus three X gives us five X. Our minus two Y, we leave it there. And eight 
minus 15, which gives us a negative 7. Okay. Now, our very last one for today, 5 all bracket 2 plus x plus 3 all bracket 5x plus 4. So we're going to go 5 times 2 plus 5 times x plus 3 times 5x plus 3 times 4. So we're going to evaluate that. 5 times 2 is 10. That becomes 5x. 3 times 5 is 15. We leave the x there as well. Don't forget the x. And then 3 times 4, which gives you 12. Our next line, we are going to rearrange our x's and x's together and our numbers, which is 12 and 10, together. And then 15 or 5 plus 15x and then 12 plus 10. So 5x plus 15x gives us 20x plus 12 plus 10 gives us 22. And that is our answer. Okay. So that is it for today. Okay. Oh, there we go. There. So, if you thought you uh, learned something or enjoyed it, please press the like and subscribe button somewhere. Okay. And I'll see you next time. If I can get out of this.